Hello, this is Dr. Says, and welcome to the final tutorial on building your own PC, where I'll be showing you where all the cables go. Here is the cable from the power supply I mentioned. It goes straight into the motherboard. Make sure whenever you're putting cables into sockets, make sure that they're being fed through the right holes in the case. A good rule of thumb is to feed the cable through the slot in the case that is closest to the pin connector. That way you don't have to stretch the cable across the components like the heat fan or motherboard or anything like that. It's it's out of the way. So you can see here I'm feeding the, the cables through all the holes and I am fitting the SATA cable from the power supply into the hard drive at the back of the case. There'll be another cable that'll fit into the mechanical hard drive that will go from the mechanical hard drive. It should go into straight into the motherboard. Again, you don't need to be technical about it. If it fits into the slot, that's where it goes. There's no complicated science to it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our finished product. Now, make sure whenever you turn on the computer, the power light on the computer will turn on. Uh, and make sure that it comes on the screen whenever you connect the HDMI. HDMI, DVI, VGA, whatever you're using. From the PC to the monitor, make sure it comes on okay. One thing I forgot to mention, the cables from the PC, you'll get different ports, like for the power LED from the for the light on the computer case. You also get pins for the fans, uh, lights, LEDs for the fan. LEDs for the fans as well. Make sure to consult your manual uh, precisely where these single pins go into. Some cases come with an adapter which you can easily plug the single pins into. Unfortunately mine did not so I wasn't able to show how I did this. I wasn't able to fit the camera in. But yes, this is a very basic tutorial on how to connect your PC how to build your own PC. You'll need an operating system like Windows or Linux to install on the computer. Fortunately, I already had Windows 10 installed on the mechanical hard drive, so I won't be showing a tutorial on that, unfortunately. But let me know if you have any problems and what your experiences are in building your own PC. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.